All right, so today we're going to talk about uh, chapter 15.2, glacial movement and erosion. Erosion is the transport or movement of sediment, okay? So how glaciers move. Uh, heavy snowfall causes glaciers to move more rapidly. So the more snowfall you get, the more accumulation, the more pressure, the movement is downhill. This is your glacier, this is your mountain. Okay, how glaciers move. Glaciers move more rapidly down steep slopes. So uh, the steeper the slope, the more uh, glacial movement, the faster the glacial movement, the more gradual, typically the slower. Basal slip and plastic flow. So the word basal means forming or belonging to the bottom layer. So down here at the bottom, this is the top. You have lots of heavy weight, intense pressure at the bottom. The intense pressure causes ice melt. The ice melting causes lubrication to happen. Lubrication causes downhill flow. This is your mountain surface. Okay, plastic flow typically happens at the middle of the glacier. Plastic flow is the deformation of ice crystals as the heavy weight and pressure push the ice downhill. All right, so movement of, of the ice front. So this is your ice front. You're going to get, uh, if you get more snowfall than melt, the glacier is gonna grow and the ice front is continue to progress downhill. If you get more melting than snowfall, the glacier will shrink or recede. Recede is the backward movement of the glacier. Okay, icebergs. The glacial ice from the mountains has reached the sea. So the glacier is coming downhill, reaching sea level, and then the glacier extends over into the ocean. The ocean is water, the glacier will start to sink and you'll get some cracks. When the glacier actually cracks and breaks off, that's called calving, okay? So the iceberg is now created from the front of the glacier. It will float away and uh, the glacier may continue to grow and push new pieces, new ice into the ocean, okay? All right, so we have uh, how glaciers cause erosion. So erosion is the movement or transport of sediment. As glaciers are growing and pushing downhill, they grab pieces of rock and sediments, everything from small sand particles all the way to large boulders the size of a house. The glacier will be carving and scraping and pushing the sediments from uphill, downhill. How glaciers cause erosion. So when the uh, you get into a lower elevation, the temperature is higher, the glacier may start to retreat okay or recede the temperatures higher it will leave the sediments that it was pushing at its furthest point where they were so that's a terminal moraine at the very end of where the glacier uh, reached the other particles that are left behind as the glacier glacier retreats are called till okay valley glaciers okay valley glaciers cut u-shaped valleys into mountains valley glaciers sharpen and polish mountain peaks Continental glaciers grind down mountain peaks, causing them to be rounded. So here is what a continental glacier will do. Continental glaciers remove loose soil and rock. They push it away like a bulldozer. And that's it.